Hare Krishna. We may have a million reasons to be resentful, but we just need one reason to not be. It is utterly unhelpful and can be horribly harmful. Many things go wrong in our life and we just can't do anything about it when the things go wrong. They just overwhelm us at times and it's understandable that we will feel frustrated, we will feel resentful and there may be a million reasons why we may feel that my resentment is justified. Yes, it, it may, we may have been victimized terribly but there is one reason in spite of all those reasons why we shouldn't be resentful and that why, one reason is it is useless at best it is utterly unhelpful when we resent we stay locked in the past this happened this person did like this this happened like that and the past is past we can't change it now so it's over <coughs> So therefore, it's best that we let go of resentment because it's utterly unhelpful. And not only that, it can be horribly harmful. Because resentment, when it is accumulated, it can make us revengeful. And once that kind of negative emotion overwhelms us, our judgment gets distorted. And the Bhagavad Gita cautions that negative feelings like resentment are typical of the mode of ignorance. In the Bhagavad Gita 18.35, Krishna says, Yaya sopnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vachana vimunchati durmedha dutisa partha tamasi. That actually, this kind of action, this emotion of resent, of fear, anger, fear, uh, moroseness, lamentation, and in that list we could include resentment, which is also is characteristic of the mode of ignorance. And earlier Krishna has says, Himsatma Kaushuchihi, that a person who works in the mode of ignorance is prone to violence. So we can be, it can be utterly harmful. It can be horribly harmful because out of resentment we may hurt ourselves, we may even take our own lives, or we may make it our mission to destroy others. And sometimes the collective resentment of the masses can lead to indiscriminate slaughtering of others as happens during rioting, as happens say at a collectivist level during the French Revolution, during the Russian Revolution and during the communist regimes. So essentially resentment is a emotion which does no good and can do a lot of harm. Now we may understand all this but how do we get free from resentment by re redirecting our focus beyond the past, present and future to a higher level, to the spiritual level. As whatever wrongs may have happened to us, still our spiritual core remains indestructible. And if we tune into that spiritual core and uh, we understand our own indestructible spirituality, we understand our eternal connection with the Supreme Divine, then we can gain strength thereby. And thus, with that spiritual strength, solace and calmness and clarity, we can work to create a better future for ourselves, no matter how dark our past might have been. Thank you. Hare Krishna.